So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. What is a square root property? If x squared is equal to c, then x is equal to positive negative square root of c, where the value of c is a real number. In the given example, x squared is equal to 49. So let us solve for x. Let us write the square root on both sides for x squared and 49. So it means the square root of x squared is equal to, that becomes positive negative because based on the rule of the square root property. So positive negative, the square root of 49. So cancel 2 and then the radical sign. So it means x is equal to positive negative and the square root of 49 the answer is equal to 7 so the solutions are 7 and negative 7 how about this one x squared plus 16 equals 0 so let us solve bring down x squared and then change the sign of positive 16 that becomes negative 16 so let us write the square root on both sides. So that becomes square root of x squared is equal to positive negative square root of negative 16. So cancel 2 and then the radical sign. So x is equal to positive negative the square root of negative 16. Do you think there is a solution if the given value of the radical is negative 16? No, because this is imaginary. So it means... There is no real solutions if the given is x squared plus 16 equal 0. Despite that 16 is a perfect, but the radical is negative. So it means there is no real solutions. Let us solve the value of x using square root property. In the given example number 1, x squared plus 7 is equal to 8. So bring down x squared, bring down equals 8, and then positive 7 going to right, that becomes negative 7. Bring down x squared, and then 8 minus 7, that is equal to 1. So write the square root on both sides, so that becomes square root of x squared is equal to, based on the rule, positive negative the square root of 1 so square root of x squared that is equal to x because cancel 2 and then the radical sign and then the square root of 1 the positive negative the square root of 1 that is equal to positive negative 1 so the solutions are 1 and negative 1 How about example number 2? 9x squared minus 25 equals 0. So all ax squared must be on the left side and the constant must be on the right side. So that becomes 9x squared. It is equal to negative 25 going to right. That becomes 25. And the value of a must be equal to 1. So let us divide both sides by positive 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1x squared. And then copy 25 over 9. Afterwards, let us write the square root on both sides. So that becomes square root of x squared is equal to positive negative the square root of 25 over 9. Cancel 2 and then the radical sign. So that becomes x is equal to positive negative square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 9 is equal to 3. So the solutions are 5 over 3 and negative 5 over 9. How about number 3? 4x squared plus 1, it is equal to 9. So the goal, it must be x squared is equal to c. So bring down 4x squared and then equals 9. Bring down positive 1 going to right, that becomes negative 1. Bring down 4x squared and then 9 minus 1, that is equal to 8. 
the value of a must be positive 1 to use the square root property. So divide both sides with positive 4. So cancel 4 and then that becomes 4 divided by 4 that is equal to 1x squared. 8 divided by 4 that is equal to 2. So write the square root on both sides so that becomes square root of x squared is equal to positive negative square root of 2. Cancel 2 and then the radical sign so that becomes x is equal to positive negative square root of 2 because the square root of 2 or 2 is not a perfect and not exact so it means we need to copy. So x is equal to positive negative square root of 2. The solutions are square root of 2 and negative square root of 2. In the given for number 4, 5 the quantity x plus 7 squared is equal to 125. Do you think it is possible to use the square root property? Yes. So how to solve this one? So we need to divide the given by 5. If we divide both sides with positive 5, so cancel 5, so that becomes 1. 125 divided by 5, that is equal to 25. So let us write the square root on both sides. So that becomes the square root of x plus 7 squared is equal to positive negative square root of 25. Cancel 2 and then the radical sign. So that becomes x plus 7. It is equal to copy positive negative and then the square root of 25 that is equal to 5. So let us solve for the value of x. So bring down x. Bring down positive negative 5 and then positive 7 going to right, that becomes negative 7. But this given, it is not in a final form. So let us find the value of x now. So we need to write this one two times. So the first is positive 5 and then the second is negative 5. So it means x is equal to 5 minus 7. 5 minus 7, subtract, copy the sign of the larger number. So x is equal to negative 2. How about the second one? The second one that is negative 5 minus 7, so same sign, so add, so copy the sign of the larger number. So negative 5 minus 7, x, that is equal to negative 12. So the solutions are negative 2 and negative 12. How about example number 5? 2 the quantity x plus 4 squared minus 18, it is equal to 0. It is also the same with example number 4. So first, the constant must be on the right side. So copy 2, the quantity x plus 4 squared, it is equal to negative 18 going to right, that becomes positive 18. Afterwards, let us divide both sides with positive if we divide both sides with positive 2, 2 divided by 2, that is equal to 1. And then 18 divided by 2, that is equal to 9. So write the square root on both sides, so that becomes the square root of the quantity x plus 4 squared. It is equal to positive negative the square root of 9. So let us solve now for x. Cancel 2 and then the radical sign, so that becomes x plus 4 it is equal to positive negative the square root of 9, that is equal to 3. So, let us solve for x. x is equal to positive negative 3, and then positive 4, going to right, that becomes negative 4. So, let us solve for the value of x. So, the first value of x it is equal to positive 3 minus 4. And then the second one, that is negative 3 minus 4. The first, 3 minus 4, subtract, copy the sign of the larger number. So x, that is equal to negative 1. The second one, x, that is equal to negative 3 minus 4. Add, copy the sign of the larger number. So x, it is equal to negative 7. So the solutions are negative 1 and negative Seven.
Instruction, solve the value of x using square root property. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning! Mathematics! I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much!